Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we're making slime. So all you're gonna need is just um, one or two. That's what I'm doing. So you're gonna need two of these Elmer Skull glue. Just pour it into a bowl. You wanna get all of it in. Okay, after you get that, you want to get your other one, pour it in. Now, you want to get your baking soda, and you want to get one tablespoon. Okay. Now, you got to get your food coloring. Um, why don't you go ahead and, um... Found it. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So why don't you get your food coloring? Your thing might fall off, so it peels the crap. Um, okay. So now you gotta get your food coloring. Pick which one you want. I'm gonna go red slime. And probably want to add, like, three drops. So, yeah. You may need to add a little extra. Maybe like four. Yeah, if it's not dark enough, you can add more. Okay, once you do that, don't get it on you because it might be permanent. You want to add one tablespoon of contact solution. I mean two. And any brand of contact solution will work. Yeah. That's one. And after it's done, if it's a little um, too sticky or not sticky enough, you can add more contact solution. Yeah, Is that correct? Yes. After you add two contact solution, just mix it until it gets hard. You gotta do a lot of mixing. And where can we go to find the recipe yet? Um, you can go to elmerslime.com. Yep. And there's all kinds of recipes. They have one for glitter. Um, Rainbow, unicorn. Yeah, there's a ton of different recipes. Now you want this to be hard, so you gotta really mix it. And you gotta mix all the contact solution, glue, and everything. And you don't wanna get any food coloring in your hands. Because it's permanent. Well, it's okay once you pour it in there, though. You just don't wanna get it on your hands from the bottle. Yeah. And then after you get done stirring, don't you need it? Yes, you need it. Need it. And you're supposed to knead it by hand, too. Is that correct? Okay. Okay, I think that's good. Now you want to grab it and knead it. 
And how do you knead it? What do you do to knead it? You just move your hands around like this. Okay. It's very sticky sometimes, <laughs> so you want to add more contact dilution. So, it's not that sticky. What does the direction say about adding more contact solution? Can you read it for us? If needed, add one and a one fourth of a teaspoon of contact lens solution to make the slime less sticky. Oh, okay. And when you're kneading, I think you want to try to grab the whole thing, right? Can you grab my spoon, please? I sure can. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is very sticky. Or you could do this and eat it. Yeah. So when you're done with it, what do you suggest them do? Play around with it. Well, don't you put yours in a bag to keep it um, yes. What do you put it in a bag for? To keep it from hardening. Keep it from hardening? Yes. And how long does it last after you make it? Uh, as long as you want it to last. Okay. Sometimes it will not last long. Uh -huh. But sometimes it will. And also with the food coloring, you can add colors too, right? You can add several colors. Yeah. Now you don't have to have food coloring, right? That's just if you want to make it color. Yes. Yeah. So if kids, parents, anybody watching, if you don't have food coloring, you can still make slime. Again, all you need is a four ounce glue bottle, contact solution, and baking soda. That is correct. All right, so this is how you make slime. Um, now you're just going to keep kneading it until you find the right texture. Everybody probably wants a different texture. And so some people, your hands will look like pink flamingos mm -hmm. if you use red. So yeah, be aware. So if you want yours a little bit darker, you can add more food coloring. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, just add more food coloring and just... Uh, stir it around with a spoon before you put it on your hands. And thank you guys for watching and have fun making your slime. Goodbye.